friends, welcome back and if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I hope that you will consider subscribing. I do Ipsy videos every month on my channel. A couple of Ipsy videos every month. So let's jump into it. If you're new around here, I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. I have two other channels if you're interested. I have a vlog channel, which is just vlogging life. Very exciting stuff coming up on the vlog channel. So I recommend you subscribe if you're into like behind the scenes life stuff. Um, and I also have a reselling channel. So one of my part-time jobs is I resell clothing, shoes, handbags, accessories. I've been doing it for 10 years. So I finally started a channel just sharing my tips and tricks. Let me move my mic. If you can tell, I'm in a new background. I have an office, but I'm going to share life updates, what's been going on at the end. Because I know a lot of you are just here for Ipsy. But if you're interested in like personal stuff and what the hell has been going on in my brain, I've been struggling, friends. Not even going to lie to you, last couple of weeks has been a struggle. So let's jump into Ipsy. I have Ipsy Ultimate. I've had all the Ipsy's in the past when it was $10. I've had the Glam Bag Plus. Now I have Ultimate. It's $50. <laughs> it's not my favorite. I'm not going to lie to you. My favorite of all of them, and I've had Ipsy for five years, was the Glam Bag Plus, which is $25 a month. So this is it friends let's just let me move over i'm filming in front of a closet i didn't know where else to film literally the only thing i have in this office right now is a standing mirror like a floor length mirror and my standing desk which i love i will link down below i love my standing desk all right glam bag ultimate i'll put photos of everything here for june the bag is really cute it's a little tackalicious but i like it it's girls in swimsuits of different body shapes body sizes, body colors. I like it. You know what's really cool? My new apartment complex, when I get a package, they have a package concierge and they send me an email when a package has arrived and I pick it up at the concierge. <laughs> so funny. Anyways, that just popped up on my email. I think the bag is cute. I say it's tackalicious because I don't really like the colors, but it's cute for summer and spring. I'll keep it. A lot of the bags, you guys, I don't keep. I find 50% I love and 50% I just pass on or give away as a gift. Uh, all right, first up, skincare. I'm seeing lots of skincare. A lot of you get tired of me saying I don't want skincare, but I try to pick items because you get to pick one item that's in your bag and they build around it. I try to pick makeup items, but this, I've had Glam Bag Ultimate since it launched in October of 2019. And I'm not kidding when I say like 75% of it has been skincare. I want to mix, damn it. I want some makeup. So Laura Geller Spackle Mist Restore Coconut Water. I have very oily, acne-prone skin, so I don't know. I'll give it a try. That just sounds like something that wouldn't be good for my skin type, but I'll try it. I've never tried it. I haven't tried a lot, honestly, from Laura Geller. If you have any Laura Geller favorites, leave them in the comments down below. Dr. Brent Skincare Pores No More Luminizing Primer. I like the Pores No More, but there's one that's not luminizing. I'm pretty sure that's the one I've used and I like it. I don't want anything luminizing. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I've done multiple quizzes where I've told Ipsy I have oily skin. But hey, in Ipsy's defense, some people with oily skin like luminizing primers, uh, foundations because they want to put some moisture back in and then they tame it down. I'm not one of those oily girls. I tell you guys that all the time. Huda Beauty Sponge. I think this is the item I chose. I think. I'll let you know. I don't think it is. It was one of the items I could have chosen. Um, I don't use beauty sponges. I've never been a huge fan of the what is it called? The Beauty Blender. I think it wastes too much product. I think it's unsanitary unless you clean it all the time. I know, fight me in the comments down below. I know so many of you probably live and love that thing. Um, the the only sponge that I've really been enjoying or makeup tool is the Blendiful. I did a couple review videos on that. I'll link it down below. You'll see me talk about that a little bit more in a declutter because my thoughts have kind of changed on it, but... This is a pricey product. I am a big fan of, well, Sunday Riley. I haven't used their stuff in a while. Sunday Riley UFO Ultra Clarifying Acne Treatment Face Oil. This I can get down with because this I feel like maybe they actually looked at my profile and realized I have acne prone skin. I've tried this. It's been out for a while and I like it. The smell, if I remember correctly, is not the best. 
but I like it. Bella Pierre, I haven't heard of this brand in a long time. I remember it used to, people used to talk about it a lot on YouTube. I really enjoy this wig. The thing about this wig is this is a filming wig. I feel like it looks good from afar. Up close, looks like it needs some frontal work, but from afar, I enjoy it. <laughs> a mess, I'll link it down below. Uh, Bella Pierre Bina Banana Setting Powder in Medium. I'll give it a try. I need setting powders. The only setting powder I've been using for like the last year is the Laura Mercier setting pow powder, but I'll try this. Mm. Ipsy sent me this brand last month and I didn't like it. It was like an exfoliating body scrub, but it was very oily. I don't even know if, it doesn't say if it was for the face or the body. I used it on both, I did not like it. It was too oily and I felt like it just like kind of sat on top of the skin. It's Ciela, I think, C-E-L-A, Cella, Cella. Creme Rose, Best Cream Rose. So is that a lotion? If that's a lotion, I'll try it. But I did not like that body scrub from that brand. Or face scrub. I used it on both. Ciate, Ciate London Dewy Stick and Glow. I don't want anything dewy. I know some of you think I'm being dramatic, but here's the thing, girlfriend. I am cheap. And I don't even like using that word. I'm just coming to terms with it. I'm very frugal. $50 a month, in my opinion, is a lot. And I'd say like 50 to 80% of these products every month, I'm just giving them away to people because I don't use them. I'll probably never use this. Oh boy. The Balm Cosmetics Auto Balm Girl Powder. And it looks like I would use maybe one of those shades. Moving right along. Bio Race Pore Tightening Pore Pearl Clay Mask. That's a tongue twister. I will use that. I've never heard of that brand, but I like anything that says pore tightening and clay because it ex extracts all the grossness from my oily uh, prone skin. And I have very large pores on my T-zone, so I'll use that. I never know how to say this brand. Ipsy sends it a lot, and I think BoxyCharm did. Douce, D-O-U-C-C-E, Freematic Limited Edition Smoky Pro Palette. That's pretty. I enjoy a very shimmery palette, especially with gold and rose gold tones. So I will try that. That looks really pretty. Coffee scrub. Listen, friends, I did a coffee scrub video a couple years ago. It's very old. I still make my own coffee scrub, and it really helped reduce the appearance of my cellulite. It helped exfoliate my skin. I'm just warning you, it's really old. I'll link it down below, but this is from Mine Tan. Mine tan, I'll try it. I like coffee scrubs. This is the item I picked. Il Maquillage Infinity Longwear Lip Cream and Geisha. Why the hell is like 90% of my box then skincare? <laughs> Send me some damn, well, let's see. I do have a couple makeup items. I have the eyeshadow palette from Douce, or Deuce, I don't know how to say it. Uh, I have the Laura, uh, Dr. Brandt, well that's a primer, I consider that skincare. I have the setting powder from Bella Pierre. It's, it's just makeup products I wouldn't really use. So here's what we're gonna do, friends. I am going to keep Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate just to review it for another three months. At this point, I, this point I've had Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate for nine months. I'm gonna keep it for another three months, but what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to subscribe to Ipsy, the $12 one, and Glam Bag Plus and compare all three. I've been saying I would do that for years. I'm just gonna bite the bullet do it and hopefully they ship in time for July. And so then from July to, wait, no, I've had the ultimate since October. From July until October, we'll just keep all three and then I'm just gonna pick one cause I, I'm not a fan of ultimate. It's all right, I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. It's half the price. I feel like you get a lot of full-size products. You get an, I got an awesome mix of makeup and skincare when I had that one. I just prefer it and I think it's a better value. So that's what I'm gonna do, July. After I film this video, I'm gonna go on Ipsy's website, subscribe to the other two, and I think that'll just be fun. And then we'll do like a year roundup. I want to do a video where I compare my first ever Ipsy glam bag to the most recent one. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. Because back in the day, I used to love Ipsy. Oh, let's talk about what's been going on, friends. Let's talk about it. Grab a snack, girlfriend, if you're here for like 
the personal talk, the world talk. I'm going to try to keep this quick and as positive as possible. I have been struggling with everything that is going on in the world. I won't go too deep into it. I feel like if you have a television, a cell phone, a radio, you know what's been going on. I literally cry every day looking at social media. I've had to limit social media time just because I cry because I see things that are moving that make me happy. I cry because I see things that are awful that make me want to cry and just feel sad and just I've really been struggling. And if you follow me on Instagram, I've been trying to share positive, uplifting things about, you know, spreading love and sticking together. I participated in Black Tuesday and just be, as being an African American woman in the world, it's just been a heavy time. I mean, to be honest with you, I've experienced racism my whole life. My entire life, in some way or fashion, I've experienced racism. Currently, this is just a little story time. If you don't know, my current boyfriend is white. And he asked me a question that just made myself and himself realize. I think he already knows. We've talked about white privilege. He knows the privilege that he has as a white man in this world. But he asked me, he said, you know, I'm just trying to learn. I just want to be more educated. And I said, okay, what's up? He said, do you feel like as a grown adult that you still experience racism today? And to me, I almost started crying when he asked me that because I thought, this man has never experienced racism. And the fact that he's asking me that, he, he, he really genuinely thinks that the color of my skin doesn't affect my everyday life. And damn, what a privilege that is. And that's what I said to him. I said, do you know what a privilege it is to learn about racism rather than experiencing it your whole life? And when I said that to him, he just went quiet. <laughs> And it was really cute. He's like, you know, this is why I love you because I can ask you these things. You don't get offended and you're patient with me. I'm just trying to learn. And I just thought like, wow, what a privilege that is for him to think that I just lived my life as an adult. Maybe I experienced racism once or twice, but it doesn't affect me anymore. And I think the area that I experience it the most, which is kind of sad, is work. And it's very blatant very obvious that I receive treatment completely different from my peers that are the exact same level as I am, exact same education, but they get away with things I could never get away with. I would be terminated and I can only say it's the color of my skin. What else would it be? My job would never say that. Sorry if you hear wind. Um, it's burning up in this office. But anyways, before I go into the office and moving, it's just been a struggle for all my people of color, for all of my white friends, for all of my friends around the world, if you are struggling with everything that's going on, sometimes it's okay to just do a little detox. That's why I just put on a bunch of makeup and sat down and filmed this video because I was like, I have to get my mom off of everything. I didn't want to film in here until the office was put together, but I was like, screw it. I want to talk about makeup. I want to talk about beauty, and I just don't want to think about it, but if you care to share anything positive in the comments down below that you've seen, and the media or social media share them. The things that have been moving me that are positive are the peaceful protest of people from all nationalities, all around the world, all different skin tones protesting the inequality and the injustice that's been happening with black lives. It's really moving. I mean, when I see those peaceful protests, I always start crying because I think it's, it's amazing. There are good things happening out there, friends. I was watching the footage from Paris. I mean, people all the way in Paris. I saw the footage of the peaceful protests in New Zealand. I mean, that's amazing. It's just amazing. So there's, there's positive things happening out there, but I just wanted to share I'm human. I know I've been MIA. I've just been struggling with everything going on, trying to stay positive, and I moved. So I'm filming in my new office slash filming room slash beauty room slash real estate office. You know what I realized? I was talking to some of my real estate coworkers and I realized I don't talk about real estate on YouTube that much because this is a beauty channel. I talk about it somewhat on the vlog channel, but I feel like I'm missing out on customers. So if you need a real estate agent in California, I'll start putting my, I need to, I need to decide which email I'll put, but if you're interested in real estate buying, selling, leasing, I can help you with leasing, I'll leave my contact information down below. I thought, why don't I ever promote myself? 
I see everywhere like talking about promoting black businesses, which it always should have been that way, but I won't go off on that rant. I'm a black business. Why don't I promote my own black business? So also, if you're not in California, I work with Keller Williams. That's my broker. So if you need a referral for an agent anywhere in the 50 states, I can interview agents for you. I can help you find the right agent. I just consider you guys friends. Why not make you some of my customers? So yeah, my real estate friends are like, why don't you mention it? And you know, I'm, I'm probably never gonna do like a real estate video on this channel, I don't think. I might go on my reselling channel, but yeah, I'm gonna start leaving my real estate contact info down below. So hit me up, friends. What else? This office looks a mess. I'm going to do an office before and after. It's a smaller room, but I'm just grateful to have a room all of my own to do my business in. I'm really excited. Uh, the move was great. I don't think I told you guys, but I did move in with my boyfriend. But you'll see more of that on the vlog channel. I have vlogged moving day and everything. <sighs> That's just what's been going on. I just wanted to chat with you. I'm still working from home. For those of you that don't know, I'm a full -time, I have a full-time corporate job in healthcare. Uh, but when the pandemic started, my job shifted the entire company of, I think we have close to a thousand employees of working from home within a week. It was pretty amazing. And I'm so grateful for that. But I'm still working from home. Just trying to stay positive, friends. I gained a crap shit ton of weight, like 13 pounds, pushing 15 pounds in two months. I started running again. I just, I'm getting my mojo back. I'm trying to stay positive, getting my mojo back. I wanna get back to filming and editing and vlogging. So yeah, that's what's been going on with me. Leave some positivity in the comments down below. I don't care what it is. Did your dog poop a great poop? <laughs> Why does that always come to my head? I think it's because I'm always monitoring my senior dog's poop. I'm losing it, you guys. I don't know. Did you see something uplifting online? What made you smile today? Let us know in the comments down below. You can check out my most recent video right here.